inside of an orange AD30, the single channel, which is cool because a lot more rare than that uh, double channel, and I guess rare things are cool. Uh, Jimmy Page used one of these on one of the Zeppelin reunion shows, so that's pretty neat. So this came in saying that it was not turning on, um, but it was turning on in a sense. Uh, you got high voltage, um, running around, so, you know, power transformer, rectifier tube are working, uh, but no sound, and the pilot light wasn't turning on, which was a huge clue. So, Orange uses these guys, these black towers there that are then seriously glued, um, but they still can cause some problems. So, this one over here. Heater 9, yeah, that wasn't working, um, it was a little loose, you could kind of nudge it back in, um, but it wouldn't stay there, I think it had been deformed, kind of when it was glued to the tower next to it, sort of stretched it out, but it's pretty simple, what you're going to do is cut those wires, get some new wires in there, maybe use some shrink wrap, um, and then go to the outer two posts. There's gonna be three. The middle one doesn't do anything. Bend it, get it out of the way. So it doesn't short out the other two to each other. Solder it in, and you're good to go. And here's another orange. Not the same issue, but uh, issue with the same part of the circuit. This is the AD200B Monster 200 watt base amp. 46550s, nice layout and everything, you know, and it's really cool that it's just a couple of tubes before those uh, 6550s, man, really just, just what you need and nothing more. But this one came in with some serious, serious hum. So if you look over here, I've already taken care of this, but where it says R48 and R47, there'll be two 100 ohm resistors, just like every other center tap for the filament wiring, and any other amp. Uh, and one had blown, causing unequal uh, heater voltage, which is going to cause some hum, which is why they have center taps uh, or hum balance pots and all that. So instead of taking off all of these connections, everything here, which I actually tried at, at first and it it would be too much. What you do is take those resistors out carefully. The ones closest to the front panel, those are the ones that are going to be going to ground that are joined on the other side uh, is where they start, where the legs are separated of the resistor. So get some wire in there. You can leave the solder in, just heat it up and get just a little bit of wire in there. Come over here and make a new ground for it. And I use these two watt resistors instead of the probably maybe one watt uh, resistors that are in there. And now it's super noise free, not even just for a 200 watt amp, but for any amp. And what's nice about this new wiring scheme here is if anything does happen again, look how easy that'll be to replace those. So there you go.